pod heads, how's it going? It's the 13th of January, about 3 o'clock, and I'm at home to North Beach. The tide's rolling in. Our tide's at about 6 o'clock. It's halfway up, not casting yet. That's going in, just a bit of squid at the minute. Right, let's do it. Thanks here for that is. Right, I've just got cast in and it's um it's a wheel already. Didn't even have time to bait my other rig up. Right, we better go and see what this is. See you in a minute. That didn't take long, did it? A little haddock. Not a bad size one, actually. A bit of weed as well. Right, let's get this back and get some something else. Saves a blank. Right, quarter past three. Right, that was a bit of a hectic start. I didn't even have my rigs baited up for anything. Well, my second one. Anyway, we've got the blank out the way. A nice little haddock, that one. Yeah, so I'm at Hornsey North, and it's looking really nice. Look at that. It's really mild as well. Frosty morning, but it's um, lovely at the minute. Nice bit of cloud cover. Loads of people fishing. I actually went to look at um, Mappleton, and it was just loads of people walking about, so there's car park was chocky. Loads of people that side of me. Rods as far as you can see. Luckily, I've managed to fit in between these two guys. Otherwise, I'd have had to walk miles. But I'm only using one rod, so they was quite happy for me to jump in. And talking of rods, the rod is the Any Fish Anywhere six and bit with the direct emblem safe 45. Still using the J Braid Grand in the 45 pound or 43 pound with an 80 pound shock leader. Pulley panels as ever. Um, the one that I've just had was on the single hook, size 3 hook, as ever, with just a bit of squid. And the one waiting to go in has got two hooks on it, and that's a full a full squid, that one. But um, the fish that I've just had, it was that quick, I just put the same bait back in. So it's about 20 past now, so I'll cast every half hour. Unless the fish tell me otherwise. But yeah, it's a perfect day. And apparently there's a match tonight, six o'clock, so God knows where they're all gonna fit in. Right, I'm gonna have a drink. I'll catch you in a bit. Right, it's almost half past, just about to get cast in. But I don't know if you've noticed, I've not got my Innova bait station. I thought I'd have a change. Um, what I've been doing now, I'm busy with work. I get home, put that bait station in the, the garage, and it's all wet and full of bits of stuff and old fish or whatever else, and it ends up stinking. I don't have time to wash it out. So I've gone to using a bucket for a bit. So this is a Ridge Monkey bucket. So you can use the top as a cutter or whatever. But um, I use scissors anyway, so I won't be able to knife, a knife on that. But yeah, got water in there to wash my hands or whatever else. These two side bits 
they do come with lids on them. So what I'm going to try is having my bait in there with the lid on it, and they're stirring inside like that. And that one's the same. Right, just can't get that back on with one hand. Yes, I can. So my tools in there, bait in there, chopping board basically. Or when I'm not using it, my cup of tea can sit on that. Then when I finished. It can all go back in and this lid seals quite good so then all the stink will end up just being in the bucket and it'll be nice and easy for cleaning out as well so yeah so far so good with that one right we need to get cast in let's see if we've got a bite on the go first nope very still right i'm going to change it anyway i'll catch you some Haddock. Can't get away from them. Right, quote to five. Just the two fish so far. Getting loads of bites though. Maybe just small fish. Yeah, there's still a bit of light in the sky tonight as well. I mean, it looks lighter on film. But it's, um, yeah, you don't need your light on at the minute. Can't believe how mild it is. I've only just put my hat on. I haven't even got my big jacket on yet. So there's about an hour left for high water. I don't seem to have stopped. I'm glad I've only got one rod. Yeah, the guy next door, he's just um, packing up, he's just give me some bits of cat, so I'll keep them. I might come out in the morning, make the most of the weekend. Don't know where to go though, I don't know if to come out real early for tide coming up or just get here for top of tide and fish it down. Not sure. But we'll check the weather. It's supposed to be getting windy tomorrow. North wind and that. The river could be a good bet. We'll see. Right, you don't want to be falling asleep watching that, do you? So, uh, I'll have a cup of tea, I'll catch you in a bit. I 
another little haddock. This is what must be giving them really good bites because the mouths are quite small. Right. Right, it's 20 to 6. Getting loads of little knocks and pulls and everything, but just not finishing it off. <clears throat> the guy next door to me will give me that bait, he's just gone. He's had a shed loads of whiting. But then the guy passed him and had a lot apparently, so. Very spacey. Yeah, it's 20 to 6. So I'm only going to give it till 6. That match starts at 6. It's a walk-off match. So there might be 40 or 50 people descending onto this bit of bank. So I'll give way to them. Then um, get up early and maybe come tomorrow. Not here. Don't know where to go yet. I'll check the weather and everything. Sky's starting to clear, so it might start getting chilly now as well. But yeah, it's been alright for a few hours. I've only been here, I don't know, not even three hours yet, have I? <laughs> it was a quick session. But I knew I was never going to be staying. If I wanted to stay longer, I'd have joined in with that match. Right, I'm going to have a cup of tea, then have a think. Catch you in a bit. Right, kids. Look at that, stripped to bits, look. Right, six o'clock, I'm going to give way for them other guys come in. And uh, I might see you in the morning. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you later.